Good evening guys, Mike Padua here, returning to our topical water analysis for this Friday through Monday, December 4 to 7, 2020. And this update is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. And let's begin with our update. Here's the latest GravSat beginning today, uh, Friday until tomorrow, Saturday. And we uh, still have the uh, surge of the Northeast Monsoon together with the tail end of a frontal system affecting the uh, northern portions of Luzon, particularly uh, Ilocos region, Cagayan Valley, Cordillera Autonomous region. So there could be some showers as well as uh, breezy conditions across these areas. While over Botanes, we could have winds of up to uh, 75 kph that's the highest gust within the uh, monsoon weather and uh, the uh, shallow lpa once 95w has dissipated it's just a surface trough and another lpa is trying to form here actually at this evening uh, we have now a shallow lpa that formed to the west northwest of uh, palawan this is a different system but it's uh, moving away from the country so uh, this surface trough will continue to being cloudy with isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms across much of Luzon, Pico region as well as Mimaropa while the rest of the country in, uh, that includes Visayas and Mindanao will have uh, fair weather with some isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening uh, outside of PAR, we are keeping a, a close watch on this uh, new LPA 96W, which developed yesterday, with its trough affecting to the south, affecting the area south of Palau. And but still, for the next 24 hours, it's uh, been uh, low, having a low chance of developing into a tropical cyclone. But in the next few days, we are going to. F uh, pay attention to the system for possible tropical cyclone development and we have already some uh, appearance on the European model ECMWF so we're going to uh, watch this system in the coming days meanwhile the shallow LPA here started to dissipate based on the latest uh, satellite this evening now let's take a look at our fast animation so there you go this is the uh, new shallow LPA that developed within the surface trough at it, uh, as it moves west of the Philippines and some localized thunderstorms across Mindanao and Visayas while dissipating rain clouds can be seen across the Bicol region while the uh, tail end of a frontal system has begun to, uh, to weaken as well as the northeast monsoon continues to blow across the extreme northern and northern parts of Luzon. Now, as you notice, the uh, the low pressure here, 96W, started to uh, weaken a bit. But for the next few days, we are going to observe this for possible clock towards the central Philippine Sea. And it might move closer to the east of Bicol and uh, Luzon uh, early next week. So we are going to observe that as well. And as we look at our uh, zoom in satellite animation, so this is the visible night vision uh, loop from windy.com, you met sat. Uh, lots of thunderstorms across the Philippine Islands. This is enhanced by the prevailing La Nina. That's why it's uh, much rainy at this time of the month. Although uh, when there's no La Nina, uh, the rainfall is not much. Okay, so this is the uh, infrared. You can see some strong thunderstorms across uh, western Visayas, particularly Iloilo and Panay. And also here, across the central and southern parts of Mindanao. And here comes the uh, new shallow LPA forming to the west of Mindoro. While we have here the uh, new LPA 96W, which we are going to uh, pay attention in the coming days. Now here's the latest uh, forecast from the uh, European model based on the windy.com freemium. And by tomorrow morning... We could see some good weather across uh, Bicol region, uh, Eastern Visayas, Mindanao, and some localized thunderstorms over uh, the uh, over Lamon Bay in Northern Quezon. 
as well as the tail end of the uh, frontal system is still affecting the coastal areas of Cagayan. And on Saturday afternoon, expect some uh, afternoon or evening rain showers all across the archipelago in isolated fashion. And uh, Sunday morning, uh, there you go. Uh, mm, some rainfall will be expected across the Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, and the eastern areas of the Luzon due to the northeast wind flow. And on uh, uh, Sunday afternoon, expect again some thunderstorms, particularly over Mindanao. And on uh, Monday morning, again, we could have some showers or thunderstorms across uh, Bigal region, Visayas, Sulu Acabalago, and Mimaropa. Both about by the easterly wind flow or the easterlies. And in the afternoon of Monday, widespread thunderstorms will be observed across eastern Luzon, southern Tagalog provinces, Bigul region, Mimaropa, Visayas, and Mindanao. Now, let's take a look at the uh, LPA 96W. Uh, let's uh, shift to uh, the American model. This is the GFS. And if we move it on Tuesday, there you go. This is not the LPA entering par on Tuesday. We uh, still a little higher atmospheric pressure. And when we move it on Wednesday, it could become a tropical depression based on the for formative stages of this system. As you can see here, this is uh, Wednesday morning. Then uh, if we shift our model to the European model, there you go. So there is some development on the European model. So we are going to... Uh, take our close watch on the system in the coming days. And on Thursday, here comes this system, probably a tropical depression or tropical storm to the east of Isabela or Cagayan, while the ECMW, ECMWF or European model is also the same location. So they are now agreeing for the, the possible either an active LPA or a tropical depression or even a tropical storm since the American model is much stronger while the ECMWF is much lower. And on Friday, let's move back on the American model. On Friday, it will move slowly east of Gagayan while the European model starts to recurve towards the southern islands of Japan. And on Saturday, using the American model, uh, it looks like it will remain almost stationary here, weakening, weakening probably into a low pressure area, while the ECMWF is no longer there. And yet, there's another LPA forming here from the American model, but still not appearing on the European model. And if we move on Sunday, European model, it's all clear. Except for the GFS, here comes the other L another LPA approaching the eastern coastal areas of Bicol region come December 13. So it's not yet sure if this will push through, but we are going to observe 96W in the coming days. We will give you uh, updates on that system once it becomes an active one. And uh, I'll be releasing some storm watches and storm watches on that system as well in the coming days so watch out for it so far that's the latest and we'll be returning again come monday to give you more update on our weather from typhoon 2000 this is mike Potter reporting stay safe always be hashtag weatherwiser happy weekend to all and uh, thank you for watching our youtube channel